Hi there, I'm Mindy Becker. Welcome to Casual Conversations with me. Today, I have my friend Carolina here to share something that I thought was brilliant that she does with her children, and I wanted to share it with you all. So Carolina, please let us know how old your children are, how many you have, and your your idea that you do with your children, if you're willing. So um, I have two daughters, Sophia and Isabel. They're 12 and 10 in elementary and middle school now. And I have to say that, A, it's not my idea. I read it somewhere. Um, in fact, pe some people like make money off of it by preparing <laughs> it, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. And uh, it's basically, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm happy that you heard it through a friend that I'm doing it. It's not that I <laughs> like, reached out. So it means that right. she obviously thinks it's a great idea and I believe it's helping her as well. So. Basically, it's it started in 2017. They were five and seven, and um, it, it's just very simple lined notebooks. I actually brought them to share that I started writing in it, telling them that I wanted to kind of set up a means of communication, a type of treasure that we could look back upon or use as needed, and we you know it just goes back and forth between us my husband sometimes writes as well in it um but it's mostly you know the girls and i does each, um, do each one of your daughters have their own or is yes. it a family okay so they each they each have a notebook okay. uh and they they don't read each other's notebooks i, I haven't seen it or heard like we respect our spaces and yeah. um when i write i'll put it under their pillow and oh. then when they, you know, when they've responded, they put it under mine and it's not, we don't do it every day. In fact, we haven't, we started in 2017 and we haven't filled the notebook, um, but you can already see the evolution and it's, it's, it's cute. And I started it because I ba basically wanted to ensure that somehow I would have some form of communicating with my daughters when they hit that age when I didn't know what that communication would be like. I want to be my kids friends, but first I'm like their mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's that hard, it's a hard line between sometimes being so structured and ruly as a mom and trying to also establish a friendship line mm -hmm. where they can trust you and, and tell you what they're feeling mm -hmm. and what's going on with their lives, you know? So in, in the notebook, I kind of establish, you know, this is a place where I can't, we can't necessarily, we won't necessarily discuss it in person. You can, you know, I won't be judgy. I'm, I'm here to listen. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of repetition on how much I love them and will be there for them in everything. Um, so do they, is it something where they can draw pictures and write, or is it only Well, write? with the little one, she didn't even know really much writing at the beginning. <laughs> so <laughs> it was, it was, it was it actually, yeah, it started out with little pictures. Let me see. Um, I was looking at them now because since you said we'd have this chat to kind of remember what, you know, how it started. Yeah. And so for example, you know, one of her first entries is like a drawing of her family, you know, and, Brilliant. and just, I love our family. Yes. That's it. And, and I would, at the beginning, I remember I'd have to read it to her because my handwriting is not that good. It's kind of, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but it's been great. And as you know, it, it's not something that I necessarily do every day, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been nice to have it. And recently it had been lost for a while. We kind of had lost the, the, the routine, if you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And, and something came up that I wanted to kind of talk more about it with my older daughter. Um, and so it was great because it's, it's a form of me trying to express and ask questions and then getting a response where, you know, you don't have to sit around or, 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 or do it that way, which, you know, we do have a very good chat. We, we communicate well in person as well. But there's something about writing, being able to doodle, being able to think, you know, that way and express yourself without the the coming back at the moment. Because children, as well, they can come back, you know. And yeah. <laughs> so, I just want to say, listen. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like 
you started this to ensure that you created patterns in their brains and in your brain to um, have this outlet to be able to communicate when it might feel too scary, too heavy, too uncomfortable, to be able to share either from you or them. Because I think a lot of parents struggle with communicating with their children. So this sounds like it could be uh, helpful to the parent and of course, helpful to children. We know how healthy it is for any human to write down when they're feeling things. And it, it doesn't even have to be that deep, it sounds like. You you write in it just as, like your daughter did. I, I love my family and drew a picture of the family. And what a cool thing to have to look back on when they are older. So they can't really understand that yet, right? But for now, the intention to, to have this platform in a journal to be able to ensure that there is a way for your children to communicate with you. There's a way for you to communicate with them that doesn't have to be face-to-face -face verbal communication that could be challenging for some people. And I think you mentioned something about there are some journals with prompts in them and you chose not to use a prompt. I think for some people, the prompt may be helpful. I um. I also used to do this with my daughter in a different way um, because we're divorced. She would not be with me for a few days and then come back and I had this little mailbox. So I'd put a little post-it note or a little write a note on an index card um, or put a little sticker in there. And I put the, the mailbox flag up when there was something in there. And then she started doing that with me too. So the mailbox moved and then I stopped. And when our mutual friend told me about this, I was like, this is the most brilliant thing I'm going to start. And so I, you inspired me. I'm so grateful. I started a journal with my daughter and I have to say, I only wrote, I wrote one page and two weeks later, she wrote me back and she drew a picture as well. And she's 15 years old and there was no pressure. And you helped by saying you put it under each other's pillow. So it gives everybody a place where they can put it. Um, so that the children can have that element of surprise and check to see if it's under there every night or maybe every couple nights. And I feel like it's like a beautiful ritual that really connects us and has so many benefits. So I just wanted everybody to hear. So thank you so much for sharing this journal that um, you've implemented with your family for a long time. I appreciate hearing about it. It inspired me to do this with my daughter. And I really wanted to use this as one of our casual conversations in hopes that others may feel inspired and open the lines of communication with their children. Uh, so thank you so much. And those of you who are watching, if you start a journal or you have a journal or another way that you communicate with your children, please comment below. This is like new for me to do this, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I'm so not like, uh, you know, into all of that stuff, but I'm starting to now with these new casual conversations. So hopefully you're enjoying them. I love it, Mindy. Keep going. We love them all. I will. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Carolina, for your time and your brilliance of sharing this with us. And I hope others do it as well. I wish you all well. Bye.